with its physically accurate modeling of lighting, including light dispersion, light tracer render excels in jewelry rendering. We're excited to announce that version 2.8 is coming soon, taking a significant leap forward in this domain. In this video, we'll showcase the new features of the upcoming release. Jewelry rendering isn't just about achieving a physically accurate depiction of the product. It's also about crafting an engaging presentation. You can easily drag and drop a CAD file into the Light Tracer Render interface as it supports STEP IGs and 3DM formats. First, let's quickly set the frame material, then focus on the gemstone. A common modeling challenge arises when the stone's geometry overlaps with the setting. In the case of a diamond ring, the prongs often don't accurately reflect the real-life adjustments made when setting the gemstone, resulting in noticeable visual discrepancies. This overlap disrupts the path of light rays, leading to improper refraction through the stone. To address this, Light Tracer introduces a novel solution by activating isolated modes for the diamond. All rays refracted into the stone will disregard other objects in the scene. This means that even if an object intersects with the stone, it won't impact its appearance. Note that this only applies to refracted rays. Reflections will still be accurately rendered. This feature is a significant time saver in modeling. As some of you might know, Light Tracer recently introduced label support. For jewelry visualization, labels can creatively be used to imprint a stamp on the frame. To achieve this, we use the same material for the label as the frame, but apply a custom normal map. Let's give it a try. While static product renders look impressive, they can sometimes feel a bit boring. However, the Light Tracer Renders Physics Engine, enhanced in the new version, now allows you to record physics simulations as videos. Here's a simple setup. We add a floor with an elegant marble texture to the scene. Next, we select the ring and open the new physics widget. We'll make the ring a dynamic object and set a non-zero gravity factor. Feel free to play around with additional parameters to influence how the ring interacts with the floor. Once ready, start the simulation. To add more realism, let's increase the bounciness factor. Now it's perfect, and we can record the simulation by clicking the record button. After completing the simulation, a new track appears in the Animation tab. We can add it to the video timeline and render the entire sequence. We believe these new features will make Light Tracer Render an even better tool for jewelry rendering. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these updates and any suggestions for future versions of Light Tracer Render. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.